Ankujo. President, please be seated. Le président, merci de vous asseoir. The court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Before the chamber gives the floor to the co prosecutors to put questions to this witness, the chamber wishes to hear a clarification from OCP in relation to the 66 statements from DC CAM, which was mentioned by the Nunchi defense team yesterday. This morning, I heard the clarification made by the OCP, and now the chamber would like OCP to make clearer points on these documents. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, so we've looked into the matter a bit further, and I think the position is that because of the relative recency of the admission of the documents, uh, requests for translation have not yet been made. Uh, we've calculated that the total number of pages required to translate everything into French and English is uh, 790 pages of translation, and we're currently communicating with CMS to determine what kind of timeline uh, that would be for them. So, so the number is 790. We're communicating with CMS, and we can inform the chamber either later today or by email what their estimate for the translation time for those documents would be. Thank you for this clarification, and the chamber will take it into consideration and use it as a basis for the decision in the later stage. Pour se prononcer plus tard. Uh, Madame Kinwad. Madame Kinwad. Based on the reports of the greffier, you stated that you need to le go to the restroom uh, frequently. Vous avez dit avoir and please uh, raise your hands if you Donc, wish to si use the restroom. Lever la main, si vous souhaitez aller aux toilettes. And the uh, internal rule. 91 base of the ECC, the floor is now given to the OCP to put questions to this witness. And OCP has uh, the whole afternoon to les put questions to this witness, said the president. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good afternoon to you, Ms. Uh, Keen Watt. My name is Travis Farr. I'm a lawyer for the Office of the Co-Prosecutors, and I'll be asking you a number of questions this afternoon. I know you discuss more than one topic in your statement, but I will be focusing primarily on your experiences at the Kampong Shenang Airport worksite. De votre au site de so to start off with, can you tell us, to the best of your memory, when you first were sent to the Kampong Chenang worksite, airport worksite? When you were sent to the site of work of the airport of Kampong Chenang for the first time? Answer. Réponse. I arrived in Kampong Chenang Airport in late 1977. It was in July 1977. 
I was uh, working in the paddy field when I was there. Et là-bas, je travaillais dans les rizières. I was uh, working the field uh, at that airport construction site. Uh, je les champs and why were you sent to that airport construction site? Who sent you and what was the reason? Et pourquoi vous êtes en envoyé à ce site, à ce chantier? Qui vous y a envoyé? Answer. Réponse. Back then, my husband had. Uh, à l'époque, tendency. It was said that he was removed by Anka. I was working in Bojentong uh, Airport, and uh, my husband was working in Kampung Chenang province. And I was told by my friend that my husband was linked to the Vietnamese. After. They learned that my husband uh, were linked to the Vietnamese. I was removed from com uh, airport of Po Chiang Tong and uh, sent to Kampong Chiang. So, was your Question. being sent to Kampong Chiang airport then some kind Votre of punishment for your husband's perceived Kampong link Chinang to the Vietnamese? Était une sorte de punition, uh, Answer. In my réponse. own analysis and opinion, avis, trust was withdrawn from me. For this reason, I was not allowed to work together with raison, the Chinese, je ne plus and I was reassigned to farm in order to support their units, à, said the witness. And what happened to your husband when this uh, allegation or accusation of links with the Vietnamese was made? What happened to him? Answer, I did not know at the time information was not disclosed to me, pas, my husband me disappeared Mon mari a ever since. Et the upper echelon did not tell me the reason, and uh, I did not have the courage to question moi, on his disappearance because I was afraid of uh, risking my life. How did you learn about his disappearance? Answer. It was réponse. one week after my marriage that I une semaine après mon mariage learned that I was required to get married in Kampung Chenang and one a week later after my marriage I was sent to work in Kampung Chenang and during the time that I learned my husband disappeared. And did, did you learn that he disappeared because someone told you he disappeared or had you been with him and, and then he was no longer there? Or how, how, how exactly did he disappear? Answer. My colleagues was were working uh, with uh, him, and uh, I was told that uh, my husband uh, was uh, arrested and put on a vehicle arrêté, uh, heading to Phnom Penh. And I was told by my colleague or colleagues that please do not ask any information about my husband. And at that time, I uh, kept silent. 
j'ai donc décidé de garder le silence. What was your husband's job prior to his disappearance? Uh, quel était le travail de votre mari avant sa disparition? Quoi? No, crop, crop, Answer. Réponse. He was in charge of a unit. And he was a driver for the Chinese uh, et il était who were pour les Chinois measuring the land at that new qui le airport site. Pour le chantier de ce nouvel aéroport. And just so the record is clear, Question your husband was measuring land at the, or was a driver for the Chinese Votre measuring land at the Kampong Chenang Airport work site, correct? Qui mesurait le terrain de l'aéroport de Kampong Chenang, c'est bien cela? Answer, yes, that Réponse, is correct. Oui, it is exact. true. C'est ça. So prior to your transfer to the, the Kampong Chenang Airport work site, uh, had you been a member of the military, of a military unit? Étiez-vous uh, membre d'une unité militaire? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. I was removed and sent to uh, Kampung Chenang before I was transferred to Kampung Chenang. I Kampung was uh, put in a Chenang. woman unit taking care of children and uh, doing rice uh, farming. But before that transfer to, the, to Kampung Chenang, had you been in a military unit? And if so, which one? d'une unité militaire, et si oui, euh, yeah. laquelle Answer. Réponse. Prior to 1975, I Avant was part 1975, of the uh, Southwest Zone Army. J'étais dans l'armée uh, de la zone sud-ouest. C'était le corps d'armée des femmes. Euh, in 1975, my 104, uh, 100 uh, woman unit was uh, reassigned to clean up the airport in order to allow the Chinese uh, technician uh, repair airports and the airport, the Kojentong Airport uh, was the place uh, where the Chinese uh, train Khmer uh, Rouge how to pilot. Were you ever a member of a division referred to as 502? Avez-vous été membre de la division 502? Yeah. Answer. Yes, uh, I was under 502. J'étais dans la 502. And was that during your time at Pochentong? During your time at Kampong Chenang? Pendant or la both. période où vous étiez à Po Chantang ou bien à Kampong Chang ou les deux? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. I was under a division of 502 both of the time that I was in Kampong Chang and at Po Chantang airport. Okay, can you tell us who the commander of Division 502 was? Qui était le chef de la Division 502? Me. Answer. Réponse. The commissioner, said the witness, was Tamed. I uh, do not know his surname. Le and as for the deputy, Tamed. it was Je Ta Le Wei. And there was another member that is Tua. Et il y en avait un autre membre. Can you tell us when you arrived at the Kampong Chenang Airport work site, what did you, what did you first see, what did you first notice? Qu'avez-vous observé en premier en arrivant là-bas? 
đâm bông là and the, at the outset i was Réponse. told to do the rice farming à mon arrivée on m'a dit que je devais cultiver le riz and uh, i was living and sleeping at my shelter in what prepared je dormais à l'abri de what prepared i uh, was required to do the rice farming in the lower part je of the river le riz, uh, en aval du fleuve and And it was almost the ripest time that I was told the Vietnamese, Vietnamese troop uh, came into the country. So I had to make an escape at that time. How close was the place where you were doing your rice farming to the airfield itself, to the runway, the control tower, and the other facilities. Answer. What Pratiet was east of the new airport construction site? It was about one kilometer à environ un kilomètre de away distance from Phnom Chot Mall. De Phnom Chot Mall. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with the names of all of the locations. Could you tell us, in relation to the, the runway itself, the control tower itself, how far away were you from those locations? Vous étiez à quelle distance de cette piste d'atterrissage? Answer. I was required to do rice farming surrounding the airport construction site. It was a uh, one kilometer away from uh, the airport construction site. So from the place where you were doing your rice farming, were you able to observe any of the construction activities? And if so, how? La construction et si tel était le cas, de quelle manière pouvez-vous yeah, yeah. les voir? Answer yes, I could see the Réponse, construction. Oui, je voyais la construction. Je voyais les travaux. At first, after I arrived at the Kampung Chinang Airport work site, I saw military or soldiers pushing carts and the Chinese uh, lay or install electrical wires made of the land and the lay cement to build a five-story story building. Uh, and uh, the Chinese uh, also uh, installed uh, the uh, blast to break the rock. Et, uh, les Chinois employaient également des explosifs pour and how far uh, away were you from these workers when you were, when you were seeing them pushing these carts or laying cement? What was the distance between you and the workers? Le béton, vous étiez à quelle distance de ces travailleurs? Answer. Réponse. On some occasion, I was uh, walking close to Certaines the fois, place where the soldiers were pushing je cars. À pied, and when I was assigned to chariots. do the rice farming, Et I walked past le riz, the place where the road uh, was, was built. À pied and sometimes I had to uh, do the rice farming south route, of the mountain where the rock was blasted. De la où, uh, on, uh, so you've mentioned seeing people in military rocher. uniforms. Did you ever Question learn anything about the identities of the workers at the airport work site? Answer. I do not have full picture 
I noticed that uh, the worker Je comprised ne sais pas soldier and division five parmi les travailleurs, il y avait also let the workforce together with the Chinese uh, technicians to install electrical uh, wire, construct roads and build a story, uh, five-story buildings. As I stated, uh, the Division 502 was in charge of uh, leading the construction work. So aside from Division 502, Question. did you ever learn what other divisions or units were present Donc, at the work site? Vous savez qu'il y avait la Division 502. Avez-vous appris la présence d'autres divisions ou unités à ce chantier? Answer. I do Réponse. not have first-hand information. The, my Je work colleagues in the field told me that Mes, mes collègues qui euh, travaillaient they également les champs the east and uh, the chiefs of venaient de l'est the east were removed et que les chefs venant they de l'est avaient été retirés they were with me retirés. and i did not know Eux when the chiefs of the east were removed et moi, i was working à quel at the price field for a short period of time there is moi, what i know moins de temps dans les rivières c'est tout ce que je sais did your colleagues, uh, whom you were farming rice with, tell you how they Question. learned that these workers were from the East? Answer. They said they were from the East and their chief had been removed. This is Mon what qui venait I de l'Est et que we leur chef a été, a été retiré, c'est ce que je sais. Something would happen on et us, so we stop discussing nous anymore after nous avions we peur qu'il nous arrive quelque chose, we donc nous avons hard. arrêté d'en parler. Euh, nous nous contentions de travailler. Do you know whether these workers Question. from the East were si members of military units or had been members of military units? Militaires ou en avaient été membres? Answer. I do not know about Réponse. that. Je l'ignore. From my estimate, perhaps they were soldiers. That is why they had been sent to work at that place. Ils étaient soldats et c'est pour ça qu'on les a envoyés travailler là. Did you ever learn anything about Question. different treatment between members of Division 502 and the other uh, people working at the site? Division 502 étaient éventuellement traités différemment que d'autres personnes travaillant au chantier? Answer. I do not know about that. Je n'en sais rien. And do you know anything about Question. why uh, these workers from the east had been assigned to the Kampong Chenang airport work site? Avaient été affectés au chantier de Kampong Chenang. Answer. Réponse. I have no idea. Je n'en ai aucune idée. Because I was a low-ranking person. Moi, je Only uh, the high-ranking people knew about that. Did you ever hear the words tempering or refashioning used during your time at the Kampong Chenang uh, Airport? Ou, uh, vous yeah, yeah. De Kampong Chenang. Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. People were tempered. Oui. They were told to be hard working. On leur disait at de day time, dur. during the daytime, they were trying to build the la journée, airport, and in the evening, they were growing a vegetable for units. Pour les and as for old lady or old people. Adult people like me, during night time, we 
were uh, making soir. making fertilizer. During the time that we were working at the Kampung Chenang Airport work site, we were talking to one another that uh, we were working too hard. We had uh, endured overwork. So what did these words, tempering and refashioning, mean to you in the context of the Kampong Chenang Airport? Answer. Why I know it is a temp there was a tempering. I learned about this uh, Bien, when, after I had been transferred to Kampong Chenang. When I was in Po Chen Tong Airport, I never experienced any insufficient food to eat or hard labor. But after I had been transferred to Kampong Chenang, I went through all these sufferings. So I want to make sure that I'm, that I'm understanding you correctly. Are you saying that you considered your experience at the Kampong Chenang Airport to be tempering or refashioning. Answer. From what I think, It was not moi, re education for me, said the witness. I was assigned to pas une work there. Pour moi. I was on instructed a à ce travail, to on work donné in different type of work, whether I volunteer de to work, uh, I cannot say travail, anything. Uh, Even when uh, I uh, was sick, I had to do the work. Je pas le choix. Même malade, de I want to ask you now about uh, two terms that you used in your statement, Question. which were translated into English as force one and force two. Can you tell us what those two terms meant? Force one comprised of uh, women who did not have uh, children and uh, full fledged men. They were put in this so called force one to work il faisait partie de cette force que l'on appelait force they were healthy. pour travailler c'était des personnes As en for bonne santé force two, la force 2 quant à elle people, people who were weak like me were put in this moi. group that is force two members of force two were assigned to les do rice farming and grow vegetables for units and what were the members of Force One assigned to do? Answer. Force One, members of Force One were assigned to construct the airport work site. Some of them were walking with the Chinese technicians to measure the land. Some technicians Chinois trial the rock, blast the rock. Some drivers and some were assigned to transport gravels and earth. And they were also assigned to uh, construct the runway. Was either of the forces associated with Division 502? 
l'une quelconque de ces deux forces était-elle associée d'une manière ou d'une autre à la division 502 Yeah. Answer. Force one was associated with 502. La force était associée avec la 502. And uh, people from 502 could Et not les gens de la 502 build uh, the airport construction site. So people from other groups or units uh, were groupes. gathered and put together with uh, this force one. Sont venus and why couldn't people from Division 502 build the airport construction site? Et pourquoi ne pas le site de construction de l'aéroport? At the time, the 502 did not have the technical ability to do the uh, airport construction, and only the uh, Division 3 did. For that reason, Division 3 was all in charge, from the, starting from uh, the ground. And for that reason, 502 uh, came later, and they had to work uh, along with those uh, from Division 3. And there were many uh, soldiers from the division uh, working on site. They also built caves. Ils ont they built a uh, reservoir to store fuel for planes. Pour stocker le carburant des avions. So for that reason, uh, Division cette, 502 could not handle the job alone. Pas gérer la tâche dans son intégralité à elle toute seule. So I'd like to ask you and Question. tell us if you don't know the answer to this, si vous ne but pas la réponse, do you know anything si about the working conditions of the people who were building the airport, the people who were uh, flattening the earth? laying the cement, uh, moving soil, as you've said. Do you know anything about, for example, their working hours, their food ration? No, I do not know those Réponse. details non, since they were in a separate unit from mine. Dans une unité différente de la mienne. Okay, I'd like to ask you a few Très questions bien. now about the leaders of Division 502 that you mentioned. Uh, so can we start with Met? Can you tell us Met, uh, who he was? Met was the Secretary of Military Division 502. And do you know what his responsibilities were? No, I don't. I simply know that he Supervised his subordinates within the division, but I do not know the, the details of his work. Did you ever personally have any interaction with him? Did you speak to him? Or did you hear him speaking to other people? He chaired a meeting, a wrap-up meeting on the work plan within the division, so I used to listen to him. And what would he say in those meetings? What did you hear him say?
he actually educated his because subordinates to be loyal to him and to strive uh, to complete the work assignment by Anka. That is the main gist uh, that I can recall. Did he say Did what he meant by Anka? Question, savez-vous ce qu'il entendait par encart? He didn't explain uh, what a huanka was. However, it is my understanding that anka referred uh, to the upper echelon leadership. And what was your understanding based on? Why did you believe that? I was under his uh, supervision Réponse. Placé and sous sa direction. we received education from him and it was our belief that the instructions came from above, that is from the upper level or from Anka. Did Met ever say anything about the urgency of the project or the necessity of completing it quickly? Yes, he spoke about that, that we oui. should dit, complete uh, the work quicker le so that uh, the airplane could be in operation uh, to accommodate airplanes. And that's what he uh, urged us to do, that is, voilà to complete the work uh, sooner. À faire, -à -dire le and what about uh, the way uh, another person you mentioned as a leader? Who was he and what was his position, if you know? Réponse. Levey was uh, made uh, deputy, and he usually accompanied uh, the Chinese visitors to the work site. He had also a supervisory role of the soldiers there. He worked with the Chinese, and he re received uh, reports uh, and instructions uh, from the, uh, the Chinese. Le Wei was the direct uh, subordinate to subordinate Tamet. Did you ever speak to him or did he ever address you as part of a group? Vous a-t-il jamais adressé la parole dans le cadre d'un groupe? No, Louis did Réponse. not. No. He did not provide education to us Louis ne pas de or uh, spoke uh, to my unit. Il jamais parlé à mon unité non plus. And uh, the last person's name, I hope Question. I can pronounce it correctly. Uh, Duok? 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 Can you tell us who he was? Duok. Correctement. Tour. Pourriez-vous nous dire qui était cette personne? Tour was Lvey's assistant. Était l'assistant de Lvey. And Tour was usually in charge Tour when Lvey was away. Lvey n'était pas là. So he would uh, lead the workers uh, to work. Donc During the way is absent, for example, when the way hates to uh, go to Phnom Penh. And did you ever speak to him or did he ever address you as part of a group? Vous a-t-il jamais parlé dans le cadre d'un groupe ou lui avez-vous 
Avez-vous jamais discuté avec lui ou vous êtes-il jamais adressé la parole When I was a cook before I went to do farming, he used to talk to me. He also used to give me work assignment. However, that the communication ceased when I was assigned to work in the rice field. A moment ago, you mentioned uh, the way going to Phnom Penh on occasion. Do you know why he was going to Phnom Penh? He went to Phnom Penh uh, was probably to receive his uh, work Plant and work assignment from his superior, that is from Tamet. I'd like to turn now to your working hours when you were at the, the airport work site. Uh, can you just give us a chronology of a typical day? What time would you wake up? What would you do after waking up? What time would you begin working and go from there? Moment, est-ce que vous commenciez le travail ou alliez-vous et nous exposer ainsi le déroulement d'une journée ordinaire? During my time in Kampong Chenang and while I worked in the rice field, I uh, woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning to, uh, to, to line up and uh, attend uh, the meeting. Je me mettais en rang et je That's when I was together with the women who had children, and after that we would go, go to the field ensuite, to work. Nous allions dans les champs pour and that travailler. was around 7 a.m. And de in 7 the heures evening, du matin. we had our dinner at 5. Le soir, Nous avions un dîner à and cinq heures. if there was a work assignment for us to, to engage in fertilizer si making, we would continue doing that until around 8 or 9 uh, when, when we stopped uh, to rest. And just so we're clear, Question. that's 8 or 9 in the que evening que that you're talking about, correct? Yes, 8 uh, p.m. Sometimes he was busy uh, making uh, fertilizer at that time. You mentioned a meeting that you would attend after waking up. What would be discussed at the meeting and who would lead it? Vous assistiez après vous être réveillé. Qu'abordait-on au cours de cette réunion? Qui dirigeait la réunion? The morning meeting was to uh, assign the workforce to engage in various works. For example, Group 2, which comprised of certain workers, would be assigned to do a specific task, while uh, Group 3 and so on and so forth were assigned to engage in other works. The work assignment meeting usually held in early morning, that is at 5 o'clock in the morning. That was for work assignment and work uh, distribution voilà pour among uh, the la members of the group. And who would run those meetings? Who was in charge of those meetings? Était responsable de ces réunions. Qui dirigeait les réunions? It was Mali who chaired uh, the, the meetings. She passed away. And what was her position or role? Question what was her title? Son rôle, quel était son titre, quel était sa fonction? I do not know her real position. What I knew Réponse, was that she received the work plan from the, her superior and she relayed those work plans and instructions to us. Do you know the name or position of her superior? 
le nom ou les fonctions de ses supérieurs le con Les connaissez-vous No, I don't. And, no. Uh, she was a newcomer. She was not uh, part of Division 502. She came to, to uh, supervise there for a brief period of time. Okay, I'd, I'd like to ask you now about your food ration. Can you tell me um, how many times per day you would eat and what kinds of food you would be given? While I was uh, working in a rice field, Tandis que je travaillais cooked rice was uh, distributed to us on nous for our du lunch. En guise de déjeuner à midi. That is, we would be given a, a pack of steamed rice. Que l'on nous donnait un paquet de riz Then uh, it uh, was accompanied by a sour soup mixed with uh, morning glory or water lily with uh, fish from the Lissab river. Sometimes we was given uh, dry fish. On nous donnait du poisson séché. And in your experience, was the food Question sufficient to give you the energy for the work you were expected to carry out? The food uh, was rationed. La nourriture était en so we could not eat our field since we was given only uh, 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 a ration and sometimes I had to drink more water Et to fill up boire de my stomach pour, uh, mon and each week we, uh, we would be given a dessert. Chaque semaine, on nous donnait un dessert. Long. And can you tell us something about the, the hygiene of the, the area where you lived and worked? Uh, was, it a, was it a healthy environment, or did members of your unit get sick? Regarding hygiene, hygiene was not uh, available at all. I mean, the water was not boiled, and we used workers usually had some kinds of uh, diseases, including numbed and swollen général, parts of uh, the body. Une maladie ou une autre, comme par exemple des œdèmes. And this may be difficult to estimate, to estimate but can you tell us on a given day uh, how many workers in your unit would be sick? Par jour. Combien de membres de votre unité étaient malades en temps normal Réponse. I think the situation varied under hotter working conditions and weather. La situation dépendait lorsque les conditions Sometimes five to ten workers became sick. Des shows, parfois de cinq à dix personnes so it was weather related condition. Donc ça dépendait beaucoup du temps. I cannot tell you exactly, but Je usually uh, under such a weather condition, général, five to ten workers would uh, become sick. Un tel temps, on avait and that would be five to ten workers out of a total of how many in your unit?
There were about 90 workers in my unit. Réponse, il y avait à peu près 90 travailleurs dans mon unit. And when people fell ill, was there any kind of medical treatment Question, or were they allowed to rest or were they expected to continue working? Pouvait-on se reposer ou attendait-on de la personne qui était tombée malade qu'elle continue de travailler? Would be assigned to engage in uh, lighter tasks. However, for those who could not work or who could not eat, then would be sent uh, to a hospital. So even if you felt sick but you could work, then you would be assigned to work. That is a, a lighter nature of work or to produce fertilizer or to lend hands to the people working in the kitchen hall. Are you aware of any situation in which workers in your unit uh, died either from overwork or from illness? Yeah. There were quite a number of workers who fell ill and died, and that mainly from uh, numbness and from fatigue and uh, malaria. Can you give us an estimate of the number of workers who died in your unit from numbness or fatigue or malaria? In my rice farming unit, Dans mon unité de five workers died from uh, illness. Sont morts de maladie. And that's out of a total of 90, as you told us, correct? Question, et c'est donc sur un total de 90 personnes, comme vous nous l'avez dit, est-ce exact? Yeah. Yes. Réponse, oui. I'd like to ask you now some questions about arrests and disappearances at the work site. And can I ask you first if you ever attended any meetings at which arrests were discussed, particularly in reference to links to Vietnamese people? I did not attend to such meetings. Réponse, je pas participé However, à une telle my, uh, my friends who were workers Cependant, in the mes amis uh, qui unit dans uh, spoke or whispered quietly about disappearances Murmurait. of uh, certain workers. For example, why, uh, where did this person A uh, absent? And we learned that it was probably he or she was called away by the upper echelon, and it was our conclusion that the person had been arrested. I'd like to read you a brief excerpt from your statement. Um, vous un bref just to, to see whether, whether you remember what you've said in your statement uh, and to, to ask you whether it's correct. This is Khmer page 0030-4365-66. It's English 0031-5915 and French 0037-5493 and the document number is E3-5284.
So you were asked about um, cases of arrests. And what you said was, I don't know it clearly either, but my husband was arrested with the allegation that he was involved with the Vietnamese. And then the part that I'm more interested in at the moment, there were meetings held by Le Wei, the general supervisor of Kampong Chenong Airport. The meetings were about the purges against those who had links with the Vietnamese by means of arrests. I heard this myself. And then you go on to say that you never personally saw people arrested. So that reference to, to meetings led by Le Wei in your statement, is that something you remember or something that you don't remember? dans votre déclaration, est-ce quelque chose dont vous vous souvenez ou dont vous ne vous souvenez pas I did not know about the details of those meetings chaired by the way since I was not there. Okay, thank you. So I'd like to go back now to your husband's arrest. Now, as I understood what you said earlier, you were not present when he was arrested. Is that correct? When my husband was arrested, I was at the Pojantong Airport while he was at the five-story house at Chiang Sari Barrack. And so who, who informed you of your husband's arrest? How did you learn about it? There was a messenger who was close to my husband uh, from the same unit wrote a uh, letter secretly to me and he sent it through a, a food uh, transportation vehicle and I received that letter. That's how I learned about his arrest. And in this letter that your husband's friend sent to you, did he indicate who carried out the arrest? He uh, did not know because he said that people from the general staff in Phnom Penh went uh, to arrest my husband and uh, brought him to Phnom Penh. And in this letter that he sent you, did he indicate any reason for the arrest? No, he did not uh, tell me the reasons for my husband's arrest uh, since he did not know uh, the reasons either. And uh, what he said in the letter was to advise me not to ask any more uh, inquiry about uh, my husband since he was uh, taken away. Did he tell you why you shouldn't make any inquiries about your husband?
He said that if that was the case, he was concerned that I would be taken away and killed like my husband. I think you mentioned a bit earlier that you were also aware of cases of disappearances besides your husband. Um, can you recall any specific cases and describe them for us? There was a person named Uung who used to work and stay together with me, and she used to accompany the uh, Chinese team. Later on, she disappeared, and I asked about uh, her whereabouts. And I was told that she was requested by Onka to go for further education at the uh, upper level. And based on that, I concluded that she had been arrested uh, since I no longer saw her. I must say, I do not know this for a fact, but it was my personal conclusion based on what I observed. And can you tell us approximately when she disappeared and from where? Quel moment a-t-elle disparu et où était-elle au moment de sa disparition? Yeah. Answer. Réponse. She disappeared in 1977 when she was working at a Kampung Chinang provincial town hall. Qu'elle travaillait. When I was there, I uh, did not uh, see her, and I noticed that she disappeared. So other than Wong, who you've just described for us, are there any other concrete cases that you can remember? Yeah. Answer. Yes, there was another case. Oui, il y avait un autre cas. A woman. In my battalion, her name Une was femme Pon. De mon bataillon, elle s'appelait Pon. She was arrested in uh, 77. Elle a été arrêtée en 1977. I mean, Pon. She was Con. arrested in 77. And do you know where and when she was arrested? Or, sorry, you've told us when, but can you tell us from where she was arrested? Quand elle a été arrêtée, où était-elle à ce moment-là? Answer. I no longer saw her in 19... I uh, do not know where she was arrested. I parted from her to work with the Chinese. And from that time, I no, lo no longer saw her. So in addition to those two cases, Question. are there any other specific cases of disappearance that you're aware of? No, no other cases. I knew only that my husband had disappeared, Wong and Kong had also disappeared. I did not know about other arrests or disappearances.
quant à d'autres disparitions, je ne suis pas au courant. In your statement, you also mention Question the name of Lao. Audition, vous avez Does that refresh your recollection? Did you know a person Ça named Lao? La que vous connaissiez un dénommé Lao? Yeah, Lao. Answer. Lao was my uh, former husband. Lao, c'était mon ex-mari. And you also mention a person named Mut. Question. Vous avez Do you recall a person named Mut and anything that happened to that person? Rappelez-vous de ce Mut et que lui est-il arrivé? Mut Answer. I do not know fully what happened to Mood. I what I know is that uh, Mood was uh, working in the division. Au sein de la division. And beyond the fact that he was working in the division, do you Question. have any idea what happened to him? Au sein de la division. Euh, ce qui lui est arrivé? Answer, no. Réponse, no. I was uh, working in a far distant from uh, her. President, thank you. The Deputy Co-Prosecutor, it is now time for break, and the Chamber will Merci take the break now. Uh, until 3 o'clock. Court officer, please find a proper room for this witness. And please invite her back into the courtroom at 3 p.m. The court is now in recess.